Bayern Munich are on a downward spiral. The 33 time Bundesliga champions are sitting in second position in the league to the dominating Bayern at Leverkusen, and to top it off, Thomas Tuchel has confirmed he's leaving the club next season. And that is why, ladies and gentlemen, we are taking over Bayern Munich to restore order back to the club, win the Champions League again, and most importantly, win Harry Kane a bloody trophy. Let's go! Looking at the team now, though, I mean, I don't know how they are buying it to Shabby Alonso. I mean, he's just took it by Leverkusen and by Storm, but this team is slipping up. And to be fair, they might not be favourites for the Champions League with some of the teams that are still in it. So it definitely is a bit of work. A new signing, Harry Kane, scoring bags of goals here. But looking at the formation, I mean, it's not sitting quite well. I mean, Kimmich is on the verge of potentially leaving. There's some rumours about that. I don't know if it's true or false. So it might grant him that wish in this rebuild here today. Got Thomas Muller, the absolute jokester in the right mid row, which is a bit weird. There's one individual who is definitely going to carry this team, I do believe, right this rebuild, and it is Jamal Musalaya. He is an absolute unit. But just talking about the team in general here, we've got Golela here. We all know the position change. He can go right up to an 88. So I'm thinking about doing this rebuild with him and Gortesca in the middle. Another person as well, a boy as well. I believe they pull him in, but for some reason, obviously, that he is a right back. But they're playing in a left back kind of row, I think, a left wing back kind of play in real life. I've seen him in there. It's very strange indeed. So that's just a good example why Thomas Schuchel maybe not be the man to take the team Eric Dara how's he wormed his way into this team I do not know Kingsley Coleman I mean this guy's got so many trophies it's ridiculous I do believe he actually scored in the Champions League final when Bayern did win it against PSG I correct me if I'm wrong not too sure right there but the team itself it's looking pretty good it just needs a little bit more tweaks and I reckon we can get it done within two seasons Talking about two seasons though, ladies and gentlemen, we're only going to give ourselves two seasons to complete this challenge because it is Bayern Munich. And if we do not get anything done in two seasons, I'm talking about the DFB Portico, the Champions League and also the Bundesliga. If we do not get them done, we will get sacked from the team. That is my restricted order right there. That is the plan and that's what I'm going to do for this rebuild here today. Looking at the objectives of youth development, I'm not going to deep dive into it this season. I mean, yes, it is a high priority, but considering our budget is probably quite high we haven't checked out yet this rebuild but considering it's probably quite high i don't think we need to go into it too much considering we've only got two seasons with fc and brian as the manager brand exposure get 10 wins in the league should be able to do that piece of piss Tom one player from the same nationally as the club which i believe is a german player so we can definitely look into that right there domestic success we all know what this is going to be pretty much win the treble and it is i reckon we could do it you never know maybe in the second season if they allow me to stay in the first season it's up to the board but let's see if we could bring in the Bayern munich so with our budget over the 100 million mark, we went big on this one and got Rodri from Manchester City. For me, the best DM in world football, but this came at a big price tag. Kimmich with a 60 million on top of that as well. With Kimmich rumored to potentially leave, yes or no, he might do, but we're going to make it reality today. And I think it's a good alternative. I mean, obviously, he's going to get reunited with Pep and we're going to get probably the best DM in world football bit of a change for Rodri considering he's won everything with Manchester City and in the Premier League so why not do it with the Bundesliga kind of like what Kane's done well we're obviously the trophies for Kane but the new number seven in Rodri in the DM role gonna be a bit of a tasty one this season let's see what else we bring in and our last signing for season one as the new Bayern manager will go to a man that's at Arsenal and also has done it in the Bundesliga before in Kai Havertz has told us to sign someone from the German nationality so why not go for Kai Havertz with a bit of rotation with Thomas Müller and Jamel Musalaya. Obviously, recently, he's not been too bad for Arsenal. And he used to play for Bayer Leverkusen. So, that's a bit of a dig at them in terms of potentially he can actually fight back against them. And maybe help us win the league and retaliate back. So, welcome Kai Harris as our last signing for Bayern. So, this is the team we'll be going season one as the new manager as Bayern. As you can see, Harry Kane, Musalaya, Copeland and Sani in the 4-2-3-1 now attack. With Grotesca, the new sign, Rodri in DM. Dylan, Boy, Kim G A in the center back roles, Alfonso Davis, the rapid Canadian in the left back role, and of course, the main man, Manuel Neuer in goal. You can also see as well Kai Hausch on the bench with Teo, Gnabry, and Lima, Ulschlich, Vlelelo, and Mazzarelli. I did have a look at converting Guerrero into DM, but it was about 50 weeks, so hence why we went with Rodri in the end. And I feel like in the long term and throughout the season, he is going to really push us to win the title. Last thing to get over now, ladies and gentlemen, is the people who did the part of the team and also the tactical vision, starting off with the transfer history. As you can see, though, Kai Harris is coming for 65 million. We saw this border man here to San Antero there in the Serie B, I've got to say. I oh, would say right there. Joe Montaigne, an absolute unit, very underrated player, to be honest, considering his age. Gone to RB Leipzig. We gave him choices, but he went to RB Leipzig. So they got to El Hatiad there with the old Benzema's team, I do believe. 
And the biggest one, to be honest, is even Makano, because obviously, to be fair, Eric Dara has joined the team, and we want to make full focus on Delin. So we don't want a bit of clashing right there, so we got rid of him. And I can see there, Rodri with Kimmich for 65 minutes, which I think is a very good deal indeed. Now, as a wrap it up, we have got to look at the tactical vision, so let's get into it right here. We have decided to go for the counter-attack, just literally our pace. Pure pace, Insane, Musla, and Coleman. These two, oh, what am I saying two? These three, sorry, are going to absolutely dominate, and the target man, Harry King, and banging in all the goals. Coaches, we have hired a couple of them right here, as you can see. Other than that, though, the team is looking very tasty indeed. I'm pretty confident we could potentially win the league in our first season and maybe the Super Cup against RB Leipzig, which is the game right now. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to similar to the end of the season and hopefully see Bayern Munich do the treble quadruple or at least win a trophy to secure my job for season two. So here we have it near the end of the season. Unless we lost 3-1 to Manchester City and then we nearly brought it back. Oh God, we're in the Orange Ferrari. Hopefully we're doing all right here. Unless we have got a cup final in the DP Portugal Cup right there. But the Champions League, let's say we have slipped away from this in season one. How do we go in the league though? Did we restore faith? And we have, so we can safely go against Hoffenheim here and get the dub. A lot of growth within the team. Let's just quick simulate this one, get it out of the way. And we won 3 1 with Harry Kane, Kingsley Coman, and Grotesco getting the goals. Hopefully, we might have done the free pick. You never know if we go on to win the DP Portico Cup, which we will play the highlight of that game. Let's get into it though. As you can see, confirmation right there the Frankfurt against the Bayern. Happy days right there. Super Cup time though. Did we win this one? We did. We won against Leipzig, and we also did win the league as we've just seen it. So the double is there. But the treble is on, but unfortunately we missed out on the Champions League for the quadruple. So that will be the main target for next season. The last season, hopefully we can do it. Real Madrid versus Manchester City. Obviously, your main man Kimmich will be in the Champions League final right there. Fair play. As you can see, 4-3. So it was very close. Real Sociedad got to the semi-finals. Fair play to them right there. How does we go? We beat Barcelona, to be honest with you. Round of 16, how do we go on that one? And we beat Latium right there, which I believe is Napoli. Correct me if I'm wrong. Not too shabby though, but let's get into the highlight game here against Frankfurt and see if we can win the DP Portico Cup and secure the treble for FC Bayern Munich. So here we have it then, DP Portico time, the highlights. We're playing with a starting team that you've seen before. We're similar to the end of the season, so hopefully they can go out and secure the treble here today. It's nice to see Harry Kane play lifting the trophy this season. He's on to go and lifting a third, which is very nice to see. But rare that you don't really see Harry Kane do it, but hopefully he can do it in the near future. Lira Sani getting the trade speed off her. Can play through Harry Kane. Harry Kane, can he lead the goal here against Frankfurt? And he can, of course he can. This is Harry Kane we're talking about here. The main man for England, the number nine for Bayern Munich. Absolutely dominating. I'm looking forward to seeing his stats after this game right here. But a nice, tidy highlight game here to potentially secure DP Portico. But do not write off Frankfurt. They could ruin it here. And to be fair, if we lose this one, we could get sacked because we are in the orange minority here in terms of a manager rating. One in there from Kim Min Jae there. Good interception. Bayern Munich, solo run in the 36th minute. Looks like Harry Kane could be on the verge for a hat-trick if he gets this goal on here today. Harry Kane running for it on goal. Getting a bit close, but Tuta there does really well. We should have pulled it more out left, but, well, that's a bit of a shocker. Can I take it for FC Bayern once again? It's all been Bayern. They're still with faith back into the German Giants here. We're going out wide, but the interception. Well played indeed. Bayern Munich with another solo goal, and it could be with Harry Kane once again, but there is a man that is going to be going about position, I do believe, and Jermaine Musilaya. We're going to get it to him. Juice Musilaya can't get it past him. Looks like it could just be a boring 1-0 final, and it will be. We have secured the treble. There should have been a lot more goals. It's a bit quiet. I don't think the fans have realised what has happened just yet. But there is the celebration. But the challenge is not over yet, ladies and gentlemen. We've got another season to go to secure the biggest part of them all. And that is the Champions League. Can Harry Kane get his hands on the Champions League title for the first time in his career? And Bayern Munich getting it back in the trophy cabinet. A decent win for us. But now we need a rebuild in season two. So there is confirmation we have pretty much done the treble, which is very nice to see. But now it is time to see who are the outstanding players for this season. I'll be very strict, to be honest, because now we got to go for the Champions League. We came very close. If some players, some of the top higher playing performers, haven't done really well in terms of stat-wise, they could be leaving the club. You never know. We have got the money for it now. But here we have it. Here it is. And of course, it's Harry Kane. Five appearances in the Portico Cup with five goals. 25 out of 5 from the Bundesliga. And 10 out of 12 in the Champions League. So very good indeed. 
It looks like Kai Harris was a very good sign for us indeed as well with 20 goals out of 9. Actually had a better season than Jamel Musulai. I mean, what has happened right there? I know what I said about players not underperforming, but I cannot get rid of this guy. He's been phenomenal. I like to think he probably picked up an injury because he's only played 17 games and he's a lot more higher rated than Kai Harris. But that is why we brought in Havertz because he's got that experience in the Germany League and he was phenomenal when he was in the Germany League. So a decent sign for myself right there. Leo Grotes had a good season as well, 12 and 12, which is nice to see. Rodri as well, 7 and 5. That seems like his kind of past stats in this season with an average rate of 6.9 within the league. Leroy Sani had a very good season, but one that has a bit of a slack is Kingsley Coleman. So maybe a brand new left mid for next season could be on the verge. Obviously, a bit biased towards Jamal Mosley, but like I said, with only 17 appearances and 24 in total, I reckon he picked up a premium injury, and I reckon we'll see a lot better in season two. It does look like though, though we did lose one player for the simulation. And that's Matarari there going to Arsenal for 43. Point one minute so maybe a new backup right back will be on the cases for season two we'll have to wait and see looking at the team though it's looking very good though it's very good indeed so he will be leaving to Arsenal but like I said maybe a new backup right bit or right back sorry will be on the cases right there but the rest of the team looking very well very well indeed as like I said Kingsley Coleman could be on the verge of leaving the team with the stats looking a bit poor a little bit eh this season so I reckon we need to look for a new right back and then Lou left mid for season two. So here we have it then, season two, our last season to potentially grab the Champions League. Obviously coming off from win the treble last season. We need to go for the Champions League, else we will get sacked. And that will be the challenge over. So we cannot let that happen right here. Looking at the team, we did say we need to find a new backup right back. Because one of our players in Majadoli did go to the Premier League. However, with some lows coming back this task of it here. We'll probably do the job, so it looks like we don't have to look into that right there, which is going to save us a little bit of money. However, though, Kingsley Coleman had a bit of a, well, not the best season last season, considering some of the other players within the team. So we're going to look for a new left mid as well if we want to go for the biggest prize of them. Or Kai Havertz looking really well. However, there is a big, big, big problem. I will quickly show you now. Unfortunately, with Jamal Musala going out on injury, he obviously wasn't happy going back to the first team. And as you can see, he wants to move away from the team. So very annoying indeed. A player I really do not want to get rid of. But if he wants to leave, then we have to grant his wishes. So I'm going to accept them both here for Barcelona and Atletico Madrid. I think personally, Barcelona would be the better move for him. But we're going to accept him right there. So we're going to have a massive wedge this season. We've already got a big budget as it is 154 million. With on top of about 130 round mark from Musalaya. We're going to have a lot of budget for season two. So with a massive wedge we had and Musulaya leaving the club, we thought we'd go to Napoli and get one of the biggest stars in Kavic Kuviskela here for the left mid row slash left wing over Kingsley Coleman. Kingsley Coleman will not be leaving the team because I don't think we have to really sell him because he can be quite a good rotational for in the left mid row. A bit of a battle out for these two for this season and who is going to be starting for the team but this guy will be in the first team for the simulation i hope it will stay that the same 150 million we pay for this man he's an absolute baller he knows how to get down the biggest stage and why not go to the german giants in the bundesliga at Bayern munich our first signing of season two and the last signing of season two with this reboot here today we'll go to a rotational cam in nabil fekir the Frenchman joins the Bunsen side as a rotational cam. I was going to go a bit more, well, spend a little bit more on a new cam. But then I thought, well, Kai Havertz had a decent season last season. Averaging about 20-odd goals. So why not move him into the actual first team and get a new, brand new rotational cam as our new number 40 and Nabil Fekir for FC Bayern for our last signing of season two. So with the new players in the team like Keller Scaler, Kai Havertz moving into the first team now. And as you can see, Kingsley Coleman, Serge Gnabry, Lai Mateo, Dai, Guerrero and Uslic in the substitutions. With as well, Fekir, Muller and Stanovic in the rotation as well with the team. So hopefully at the simulation, we should be absolutely fine. I'm intrigued to see how this guy is going to get on in season two. Hopefully he can be the man, the missing piece to push us for the Champions League title. The last couple of things to do now, ladies and gentlemen, is just to confirm where Musilai went. So as you can see, he did go to Barcelona, which is, I believe, the right move for him right there. Got to look at our objectives from the board this season. So let's have a little gander at them. New to we've already done that, but long term, actually, within two seasons. But to be fair, that should be absolutely fine. Get to the end, because like we said, we only give ourselves two seasons. Very exposure, though, and no one to sign by Pacific from the board. So we had a bit more freedom there. Get a streak of 10 games ready to beat the home this season. We could definitely do that. Expand the club in the South America in two seasons. Don't have to do that right there. Continental and domestic, you know what this is going to say. 
go for the quadruple slash treble if we get the super cup out of the way financially we definitely do not need to worry about that right there just a quick one as well as you can see i have hired a couple of more well coaches really so we are pretty much going to need maxed out on this department right there and that is it pretty much ladies and gentlemen i reckon this team could potentially go for the league once again it should do but the main objective is to get to the champions league we got close in season one but can we do it in season two and finish on a high and complete this rebuild so here we have the end of the season we've just been atletico madrid i don't know if that was the first leg or second leg but we'll have to wait and see got frankfurt next and it looks like we've got Bayern leverkusen in the final have we got a champions league final though have we got it? and it's against borussia dortmund wow well 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 so it's a 2013 champions league final repeat where Arjen Robin from Bayern Munich got the winning goal to make it 2-1 against Jurgen Klopp's side I do believe we have got the Portico Cup but we haven't even seen if we checked and won the league yet so let's have a little quick gander at that and at the other trophies as well have we done the Bundesliga and we have a Borussia Dortmund have done it by one point so they're on the verge of getting a double themselves but we've missed out on the bunting of this season the super cup Dortmund's done it there so Dortmund have got an opportunity to go for the treble the German teams are really dominant right there and as you can see we have got a chance to get one and maybe ruin the treble for Borussia Dortmund intriguing games indeed but let's get right into the lineups now and see if we can get the Portico Cup out of the way. So here we have it then. Match day has arrived. Looking at the team here. Bonnie face. David Wilson is a bit of a weird one. Verts Fringpong is such a very good team. Grimald as well. What a fullback he is in real life. Kevin Scaler looks a little bit tired. So I'm actually going to take him off for Kingsley Coleman right here. I'm going to do that for this highlight game right here. Can we, not highlight game, sorry. Can we quick sim this and get the winner? I want to do a highlight game, but we have for the Champions League final to play. So that is going to be very tasty indeed. And considering we've already seen one of these cups players already i feel like we should do it look at Rodri 93 but here we go quick sim can we do it and we do with leroy sani getting the goal they did get went back with jeremy fring pump but grotesca and sani get the job done which is very nice to see so it's nice to see we have at least got one bit of silverware but however it all comes down to this final if we don't win it we get sacked that's the question we've got a lot of stuff here but we don't really care for that right now well, let's just get right to the final against Borussia Dortmund. This is going to be an absolute worldy of a final. I cannot wait to get this right here. It is red versus yellow. Kovaskane has got a yellow car, which is very annoying indeed. So we're going to have to take him off for Kingsley Coleman. I mean, to be fair, Kingsley Coleman, he's not too bad. We'll get Thomas Muller. I was going to use Fakir, but we can't leave Thomas Muller out. He's an absolute unit. I mean, 73 overall, though, but it's Thomas Muller. You can't leave him out. Kingsley Coleman, though, he comes in for this final. But looking at the team, a lot of high 90s going around the park. It looks like Eric Dyer is starting on there. So he must have lost a limb, but we'll have a look at that in the, the final. Hopefully he can live up to his worldly status and do absolute limbs. Let's see how we get on though. Richard Dortmund versus Bayern for another Champions League final. So here we have it then, the Champions League final is Borussia Dortmund versus Bayern Munich. Can Borussia Dortmund get the treble here today? Well, can Bayern ruin their hopes and dreams again in the treble and just get one trophy ready and now the Champions League. Davies on the ball. Obviously, we've already won the Portico Cup. That's what I was referring to, the one trophy. But we could get the double here today and finish the challenge for the Champions League. It's our last chance. But here comes Rodri. Terrible. I should not have driven there with Rodri. That's not what he's good at. It's a good ball there to Adeyemi. Trying to run through. He keeps going there. We thought he was going to cut back. Adeyemi! Oh shit! And it's 1 0! And it goes to Borussia Dortmund. It's a terrible start for Bayern. Need to do a lot better there. Cannot let a man with literally about 100 bloody pace run past us and dominate us. And he has done completely through the park. Smashed it past nowhere. Not the start we wanted at all. Well then, that was an absolute shocking start for Bayern Munich. That's not the team we want to see. That's where we need the lint there with Eric Dyer, but it must have not been too bad this season, but it's not the season we've had. But we are in a Champions League final, but playing like that, that's not what we want to do. Kai Havertz played it into Leroy Sané now. Back into Havertz. Havertz trying to do something here. Good little play there. Into Kingsley Coman. No cover skater now. Still looking for a bit of an option here. Goes into Rodri, gets the shot off it. So with a good block at goal. We get it back. Potentially, we can't. Unlucky. Braddock into Rodri. Does well, but the rest blowing it back. 
And that's right now. Hanging up the boots for Thomas Muller. Let's see, he's only number 25. Looking to finish his career with a Champions League medal. Another one to his name. Which would be very nice for him indeed. Harry Kane can get down. He can. Now Kai Havertz could at least Leroy Sani here. Doesn't seem like the right option is on though. Could get through potentially here. It's a good ball to Kane, but it's on the wrong side. I was actually looking. Oh, well, actually, wasn't Kane. I don't know who that was. It might have been uh, Grotesco, of all people. Fair enough. Branet plays in Lukaku. Good play again from Borussia Dortmund, but it is ruled offside for Pelasny. We are going to go quick on this one. We don't want to mess around. We're trying to the 30th minute. We want to kind of get a goal before the break. That will be a foul there. With a pullback, we could be able to go short here if we can. A quick one there, the right position to be fair. We might be able to get something out of this. Boy here trying to find something. Nice little triangle. Lovely bit of triangle. So ball going into the back post there. I did see Grotesca kind of lingering there. I thought he could get something there. Running from Rodri. Just hold up against Lukaku. The man could do multiple jobs in that midfield. He can shoot, pass, dribble, you name it. Rodri can do it. Benassi. And this he's running through here. Good moving through from Adeyemi and Borussia Dortmund again. Hard to defend here. Adeyemi trying to find that pass inside. Still working on the wing. Goes into the box eventually now. Man United you know, has to retrieve. We're just going to go short here again. And see if we can work on the opposite wing. Kingsley Coleman linking up with Harry Kane. Can Harry Kane find the ball? He's really good at passing. We all know that. He does find Kingsley Coleman. Coleman! And it is one all! It's Kingsley Coleman. I said he could do it. He can do it on the biggest stage. He did it against PSG for Boy to win the Champions League in a long time. And he's got the goal back against Borussia Dortmund. Great ball from Kane. He shouldn't be able to do that type of ball. Really. He had his back towards the player, but he got it off. Kane is very known for his good passing, to be fair. And it's a great finish. On the half volley, dipped over Kobo. And it's one all. Come on. Radio's second half is here, ladies and gentlemen. There's nothing else happened in the first half after that. Go after Kingsley Coman. No change for myself, and I don't think there's any change from Borussia Dortmund, to be fair. Both teams just staying up with their starting lines, but going to Lukaku here. Get the block up, whatever from Dyer. Does really well there. Goes into Coman now. The goal scorer. Harry Kane, the assist maker. Back into Coman. Well played right there. The Frenchman trying to run through here. Could get a ball in the back post, but can he keep going? Can he find Havertz? He can't, and that should be brought back for a free kick there for a misplaced pass from Kingsley Coman. So here we have it then. Free kick. We need to be put this one on, I suppose. I mean, Sally has got it in him. Good try and duck a boy right past the keeper. Here we go here. Inside foot. Carroll. It's going towards the goal. And Kobo has to go down to catch it. I think I've uh, lost my voice a little bit right here. But it is what it is. We continue on. For me, shouting from the sidelines. The tuna. He's trying to run through here. Does do it. We missed a pass, and now we're going to get the ball back here. Grotesca into Havertz. It was in the Kingsley Coman. It's a bit of a remit, to be fair. Could keep going. Kingsley Coman cuts inside. On the finish shot now, Coman, but Kane's there. But Coman grabs it. Fair play from the keeper. A double save, pretty much, from him. Here's his lines quite well. I don't know, actually. There might be ours, but doesn't it fall to Lukaku? And he pulls it back down to Emre Chan. A tuna here. Overlapping run to lose the quetta. King Jun Yay. Oh, it's good to say that's definitely a foul right there. Uh, tail for Coleman. Why not? I think Kane's got so much to offer. And tail has got a bit of pace. The young striker right there. Going in left mid here. Grotesco. Good turn. Into Rodri here. Rodri. Not the best there. I thought we can get past him there. Lukaku. That could be a foul there. Getting a bit dirty now this game. You expect that being a rivalry. Both teams want it. Dortmund want that treble. Good ball down line. The Macca into Brunet here. Getting a bit close for comfort here. Luis Paqueta into Oscar. Into Brunet. Throws a bit of a gap in. Oh, a fantastic save. The veteran steps up once again like he's done his whole bloody career. Tail, good touchdown. Guy Havertz. Did a bit of skill there. Gives it back into Tail. Tail, the young Frenchman. Could do something here. Bit of an odd angle, but he can get the shot. But Harry Kane's there. Oh, but Slotterbeck does well. Does really well. Fonds him. Yes! That's unbelievable. The Canadian with an absolute thunderbolt in the Champions League final. You can't write that. Even the slow-mo 
the dippage on that. You're not saving those. That's his best move in his career. It's been erupted here at Wembley. It's repeat of 2013. Fonzie Davis, take a bloody bow. What a finish that was right there. Park the bloody bus because, well, we don't want to bottle this game after that mental goal. Best goal we've scored in a Champions League final in my, well, my career, I would say. Not even on the channel. What a finish that is. The limbs there. Grotesca. Can we finish the game here? Kingsley Coleman gets the man of the match, but Rodri does well. Harry Kane is there. And we could get one more here to seal the deal. Harry Kane. We pull it in. It goes into Sammy, and that's got to be it. Leroy Sammy gets the goal against Dortmund in the final. And the challenge is literally 10 seconds away from being completed. What a final this has been here. The goals have been fantastic. What a team this is here. And that's got to be it, and it is. What a final that was right there. What a final, and that, ladies and gentlemen, will be the challenge completed. We gave ourselves two seasons, and we have done it. We have done it. The last time Bayern won the final was against PSG, and it was Casey Coleman, and he's done it in this room here today with his first goal. And then Alfonso Davis. Wow, the best goal we've scored in the final on my channel by a country mile. And then Leroy Sani just clears it up. And we get it again. That's two and two against Bristol Dortmund now in the Champions League final. I feel sorry for him. But this is the Bayern real we order today. And we have done it. The stripes are back on that trophy and the red and white. What a team. What a rebuild here today. Same Drew Mel Musalaya had to leave. He wanted to leave. He's missed on that glory trophy. The ladies and gentlemen, Mayanoy gets his hands on the trophy once again and confirm that this challenge has been completed. Here we go. He's going to lift it, and that has been confirmed to be completed and done. What a team. Let's go check out the team and the squad. So there it is, ladies and gentlemen. We've also won the Portico Cup and now confirmed won the Champions League. And we did the other trophies like the league in the first season to complete this challenge here today. And real build by Munich from a very dominating by Leverkusen in real life under Xabi Alonso. Now looking at the team here, let's have a look at the outstanding players right here of course it goes to harry kane chris scaler looks like he had a bad, not a bad season had a bit of rotation with kingsley Cole, which we wanted to see fair play right there kai havertz really stepped up as well but to be honest it was harry kane carrying most of the season with roger with the 10 assist so fair play to him right there the last thing to do later on is to look at my career stats next to 105 played 71 wins 23 draws and 11 losses with our biggest win against gladback 5-0 and our biggest defeat what a surprise against Pep Guardiola's 3-1 defeat against Manchester City. So not a bad rebuild indeed. What a finish though from Afonso David to pretty much confirm this challenge to be completed in the 80th minute. Really good rebuild. Fair play to Eric Dyer as well. We'll quickly have a little look as well to finish on where the lint went. Let's have a little gander. Did he leave? And he did. He went to Real Madrid. I mean, to be fair, it's Real Madrid. So I can't really blame him right there. Not too bad at all. But there you go, ladies and gentlemen. If you did like this rebuild today and want to see more, Please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.